Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got some exciting news for all you virtualization enthusiasts out there. Oracle has just released a new version of their popular open source virtualization software, VirtualBox 7 0.20. So let's dive into what's new in this update. First up, VirtualBox 7 0.20 introduces initial support for the kernels used in the latest OpenCS Leap 15.6 and Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.5. This is great news for those of you running Linux guests or hosts on these new systems. One of the key improvements in this release is the shared clipboard feature in guest editions. They've fixed an issue where extra new lines were being pasted when copying text between Windows and X11. It's those little fixes that make a big difference in day-to-day -day use. VirtualBox 7. 0.20 also addresses a deadlock in USB OHCI that was triggered when saving the current state of a virtual machine or taking a snapshot. Plus, there's a fix for passing USB devices to the virtual machine on macOS hosts. So, if you've had issues with USB devices, this update should help. They've also fixed TPM errors in the event viewer with Windows guests. This is a welcome fix for those of you running virtual machines with TPM enabled. And for those using audio recording with HDA emulation, VirtualBox 7. 0.20 addresses issues that occurred after rebooting newer Windows 10 and Windows 11 guests. It's all about making sure everything runs smoothly. Last but not least, this release adds new Microsoft certificates to the UEFI secure boot list for new virtual machines. This ensures better compatibility and security for your virtual environments. So that's a quick rundown of what's new in VirtualBox 7. 0.20. For all the technical details and a full list of fixes, be sure to check out the change log on the official website. You can download this update as a binary for pretty much any GNU Linux distribution, as well as for Windows, Mac OS, and Solaris systems. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any updates. See you in the next one.